Battleship for the Nintendo Entertainment System, released in 1993 by Mindscape and based on the classic tabletop game of the same name, where your main objective is to lob missiles at the opposing fleet and sink them. Now I've played actual Battleship. I even played a similar version of this Battleship video game on the Sega Game Gear years ago. Never did get around to watching that movie though. I heard it was badass. Or maybe it was just bad, I might be confusing the two, but then again, I digress. A refresher for those who have never played Battleship in any shape or form. You have a grid, and on this grid, you position your fleet of battleships. From there, you pick out your coordinates and you either score a hit or a miss on the opposing fleet. And this would continue onwards until whichever fleet is completely wiped out and the surviving fleet wins. This makes for a fun little head-to-head -head game that you could kill an afternoon with and spat out silly taunts like you sunk my battleship and that sort of thing to each other. Good times had by all, and to all a good night. But that's neither relevant nor pertinent to today's subject matter, so we'll keep going. Now this video game variation of Battleship more or less plays along that same basic principle. However, there are some key deviations from the tabletop version. For one thing, there's no option to play with a second player, just a computer. Now, that exclusion makes sense on the NES when two players would have to share the same screen and... Well... You know... In any event, the core gameplay is pretty much the same as the original tabletop game. You start each session, round, whatever you want to call it, positioning each of your battleships on your grid, and then from there, both you and the computer take turns guiding a little cursor around the battle grid, and you pick a spot to attack, which will result in either a hit or a miss. And this would continue onwards until either your fleet or that of your opponent is completely wiped out. You know, pretty simple stuff. Now where the game deviates from the tabletop original is in some of the additions, the extensions, and the passcode system. Battleship comprises eight stages or battles, each further comprising five rounds. When you start a new game, you begin with only four ships, and as you progress through the battles, you'll gain new ships in your fleet, such as the very tiny submarine. The computer AI will get a bit smarter, and you'll gain new attack options, which is another addition to the game. Because whereas the original Battleship only allowed you to attack square by square, this video game version gives you some additional attack options that covers a number of squares and in certain patterns and can certainly make life a little easier in finding the opponent. Mind you, these can only be used once depending on the battle, but it's still a helpful tool that can speed up searches to a considerable degree. Now like in traditional Battleship, your goal is to wipe out the enemy fleet, and once the enemy fleet is completely destroyed, you move on to the next round and you also get a passcode to resume your progress at a later time. The majority of gameplay in Battleship, as expected, takes place on this grid thing. And while moving a cursor around a grid with the D-pad might not be the most intuitive experience due to its somewhat slippery nature, it does work for the most part. Controls are fairly simple, you use the D-pad to move your cursor around to pick a square, you press A or B to fire your missiles, you press select to go through your available armaments, and when you pause the game with the start button, you can preview the status of your own fleet to see what's left standing, and it works well enough. In terms of adapting the core fundamentals of the original battleship, it does a fairly good job of it. Obviously, taking a few liberties with the additional ship types, attack spreads, and passcodes, but as far as the whole grid style of gameplay, it's pretty much the same thing, and it works. And that's what's important. When it comes to Battleship's visuals and presentation, there's not much to say in that regard. The title screen looks nice, the intermissions is just text over solid black, and the main grid is just this sky blue color with Battleships, and they look alright for the most part. They're not amazing visuals, but they get the job done in depicting the style of the original Battleship in the video game format, which, in all honesty, doesn't take a whole lot. In a rather cool bit, when you launch a missile, it'll cut to a periscope shot of a battleship along with your missile either hitting or whiffing your target. It's a nice little visual, and it certainly helps to break the monotony of staring at a grid for the whole game. But if there was any complaint to be had, it's that this is the only cutscene you get after every missile launch. Even when the missile is nowhere near the intended target, this is the cutscene you're getting, and it doesn't help matters much. Sounds alright. 
There's a handful of sound effects comprising missile launches and they sound alright for the most part. Not exactly the deepest examination or criticism I will admit, but really sound effects are really nothing special here. As far as music goes, aside from the titles and the intermissions, there's only one main tune that plays throughout the main gameplay portions of Battleship. It's a bit monotonous, but otherwise inoffensive. And that's kinda sort of a good thing. But then again, so is the mute button on your television remote control, so take that for what it's worth. Overall, Battleship on the NES is a rather respectable adaptation of the classic tabletop game. It's a fairly straightforward affair that retains the way that game is played and is easy to get into while gradually getting more challenging. Ultimately, though this is a fairly decent adaptation of the Battleship game, at the end of the day, nothing beats playing the original with another human being, and that's probably still the ideal way of playing Battleship. And this whole video was a serious case of déjà vu. Almost like I've said this all before for a different version of the same game. Eh, it's probably nothing.